Oh, look at that. Massive. Good morning, Seashell Addicts. It is, is it Friday today? Friday the 9th. It's Friday the 9th. So this video is a week, week in advance. I'm here with my Seashell buddy, Colleen. And we are gonna be doing a different kind of shell hunting today. It's where you use a colander to sift the sand uh, by washing it out with water and then just kind of unveiling the shells that you can't find because they're full of sand. Uh, but today's uh, sea shells that we find are all going to Colleen today. Uh, but I want to bring you guys along and kind of show you a different idea on how to find shells on the beach. So the next thing you'll see is us sifting through some shells. Alright guys, so here is the spot that I was looking at yesterday as I was uh, prospecting for some shells. It's just a big, big pile of just shells in general. So we're going to dig what's here, put them in these colanders, and then head down to the water uh, and sift them out and see what we can find. So, there we go. Alrighty guys, just sifted my second one, and as you can tell right here, Nice, beautiful olive shell in the colleen pile. Let's see what else we got. Another broken moon shell. Tons of tiny little guys. Should have brought a. I think I did bring them. I just don't know what I did with them. Very cool. <coughs> Alright, I either hit a shell or a piece of wood. Let's find out. I've never heard of a place like that. <laughs> I'm digging. Oh no, I hit something. I hit a pipe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's that pipe right there. Uh -huh. That one real quick. What'd you find, Colleen? Got a nice olive. Uh -huh. An auger. Look, olives. Perfect. This one rolled out at me, and it is a gorgeous nutmeg shell. Go, Kelly. guys, I'm gonna let Colleen uh, grab this one out here, but this one just kind of caught my eye right there, and it looks like a really nice olive shell. And oh. it is. It's a beautiful shell. Yep, another auger next to it too. Yeah, awesome. And Colleen uncovers. Nice little baby cock shell. Yeah, Perfect. Nice. Good little spot here. Oh, we got another olive right here, huh, Colleen? Side of a lightning whelk. It's an auger. An auger. All right, Colleen, I think you gotta go put your stuff in your bag. Yeah, I got two. Go put those two. All right. There we go. Nice little unicorn horn, as the little girl called it. Oh, yeah. Another unicorn horn. Another unicorn horn. All in the same spot. Very cool. I think I see an olive shell. Just put your sifter right in there. Ah, oh, it's broken. Bummer. Oh, look at that. Massive, massive shark side. Is it complete? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, an olive shell. So we must be onto something here. Is that a tulip right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's for a shell. Oh, that's just a conch shell.
beautiful. All right. All right. Looks like we've uh, discovered some more shells, Colleen. the surface oh, and Al pops a beautiful conch shell and Colleen found a looks like like rainbow colored looking really pretty olive and auger shell. So put those in the colander and keep looking. Alright Colleen, I'm right here. And another moon shell. Oh It's no. a beautiful one. Oh it's so pretty. Awesome. We'll be up nice and close on that one. Colleen, you never know what you're gonna find looking for yeah. shells on the beach. So beautiful. guys so it seems that we have found the fault line of Hurricane Sally uh, she just dropped a ton of shells on the beach and then obviously nature just naturally covered them up it's kind of the same method that I have over in Gulf Shores uh, when I go shell hunting over there uh, but Colleen said she went over there a few days ago and they didn't find anything so there is a good chance that all my beautiful spots for shells no longer exist due to the tide erosion of the beach over there but it does seem like we're finding the same thing over here in Orange Beach so I'm gonna be digging in a spot that has no signs of shells and just see what pops up my guys just laying on the beach here this guy with a hole in it pretty cool but we're gonna throw it back far far away and as I'm doing that you guys see it got an olive shell here Auger here. Pretty cool. As I'm digging, Colleen finds a really nice uh, olive, and I find a complete scallop shell. Put that in your collection of scallops. Let's keep skimming the surface here and see what else the shell gods provide. That's a broken conch shell. See you later. Skimming across the top here. shells and there's two of them sitting next to each other so there's one here that I'm gonna bring out Got a tiny guy right pretty cool and then next to it I'm gonna let you see if you can find the next one you see it? same pattern as that one right out of the camera yep got yourself a pair yeah very cool a nutmeg this colored one but very cool um, Is it fine light? Right there. What? Right in here. There it is. Oh, yay! Yay! Colleen got a conch shell! It's a nice one. It's a really nice one. It's not broken at all. Uh -huh. Good rinse. Yes, we found you a conch shell. Just as I was talking about it. Okay. Covered a 
a conch shell. This one's covered in, in sand and stuff, so we're gonna go rinse it off real quick. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I got another shell here I'm gonna uncover. Let's see what it is. <gasps> oh, oh. Sorry, Colleen, but I'm gonna have to keep this one. Yeah, sorry. This one. No way. This one's coming home with me. You already found anyone. Yeah, you did. Remember that big one over there? That's pretty, oh, it's got a crack in it, but it's all right. I got a crack too, and you'll hear me complaining. So, I'll let Colleen bring this one out here. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it just it definitely just showed itself. So, uh, oh, it's a piece of is it a piece? Oh, yeah, it's like it's yeah, I guess it is a piece. Interesting, nice show Where? right there. Look at the colors oh, on that huge. one. That's a beautiful olive shell. So pretty. Very cool. Alrighty guys, so I just found this shell. It's in my hand. I know what it is. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick, show you guys, and then show Colleen, and then she's gonna get super jealous. And I'm feeling around under the water just to make sure it's complete, and it is complete. There are no holes in this shell. I'm gonna reveal it to the camera real quick. You guys can see it first. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ready, Colleen? It's a barnet. Oh, very cool. That's Remember, it. he said I gotta keep the shells today. Yeah. <laughs> Part of a. Gosh. God, that's jolly. That thing's huge. I know. I want to find a. Cool one. I feel like you just make like a paperweight out of that. Alright. The olive shell that Colleen found. That's massive. It's like your two middle fingers put together. Great shell. Good lord, it's got lipstick on it. What is that? I don't know. Looks like it's still on it, it's on the bottom of it. Did something die in there? Might have killed something there, Colleen. <laughs> I was sitting on it. Yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> no way. Alrighty, guys. Colleen found her bonnet shell, so we're gonna go put a pair of sizes real quick, the one I found. There you go, so. If only we were in Texas. Dave's not over with you. But well, Colleen found a bonnet shell, so she did. Look what just got uncovered over here, Colleen. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a beautiful olive shell. It's going home with Colleen. Look at all those shells, guys. And there's another Colleen back there as well. I don't really care what you guys say about how I say that word. So, long time I appreciate it. Found a new kind of shell and it's complete. So it has never been opened. Look at that. Very cool. Just in one spot, guys. Found an olive, an auger, and a nice piece of coral. And let's see here. Anything else? Catching my eye. Oh, yep. There's another auger right there. Very cool. Found a lot of good stuff on here today. Right there. See it? I just kind of just, I kicked it accidentally. Oh wow, look at that one. Oh, that's a good one. A monster. Very cool. Alright guys, well, we're done show hunting and we found a ton of stuff. So, just in one little spot. I wasn't expecting to do this kind of shell hunting today. Uh, digging for shells like we do in our other spots. And these were what? Right on top of the sand, right? Right on top. Right on top of the sand, and we just found a ton of really awesome seashells for Colleen to bring home, except for that big bonnet shell. That's coming home with me. And this uh, big shark side is coming home with me. So, see you guys next week for some more seashell hunting fun.